comparative statistics. Now to understand what is comparative statistics, I will have to revisit my equilibrium. What was my equilibrium for X star? It was M by PX into alpha upon alpha plus beta. What was my equilibrium for Y star? It was M by PY beta upon alpha plus beta. These were my equilibriums for X star and Y star. Now we have to try and understand how do we go about solving this further? What is comparative statistics? See, in any model that we talk about, any model, there are two main things that are there in the model. One is known as endogenous variable. And the other is known as exogenous variables. One is known as endogenous variables. One is known as exogenous variables. What are endogenous variables? Any variable that is determined within the model. That is my endogenous variable. What is exogenous variable? Any variable that is determined outside the model. That is my exogenous variable. Now, you know, when we say that a variable is defined within the model or a variable is determined within the model, then in that case, we always use that variable for optimization purpose. Right? So if I say that, you know, my, uh, let's say, I want to kind of determine what is the optimal amount of X and Y that should be demanded. Suppose I go ahead and say that. Then I am saying that, Whenever I will, you know, maximize my utility, I will maximize my utility with respect to X and Y. Because ultimately, I have to determine this X and Y within my model. I have to find out what is the equilibrium value of X and Y. That is what my aim is. Now, you know, this is the reason why they would be known as endogenous variables. They would be determined within the model. And this is the reason why I would be maximizing my utility with respect to this X and Y. And I would be getting some X star, Y star as my equilibrium. Now think of the factors that are constant, that are not determined within your model. What can be those factors? Well, those factors can be factors like income. The income of the individual, that is something which is taken as constant. That is determined outside the model. Take, for example, the prices, Px and Py. They are also determined outside the model. So the factors that are determined outside the model are exogenous factors. In our case, it is income, Px, and Py. 